This is a Sergeant Matthew Flemister. He's an Army chef. He came in second at last year's Army Forces Chef of the Year competition. We have in front of him right there a mystery box. Mm. All right? This is a little bit like Iron Chef. I love that. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the mystery box. There are going to be ingredients in there. Mm -hmm. He's going to have to make something awesome. And we will... He has no idea what's in there as of this moment. Not a clue. This is like really, Armed really? Chef. Yes, chef. that's right. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Battleship Don't Galactica. open it. So in that no, box, that, in yeah. that box are the ingredients. Yeah, we give him 40 minutes to whip up a gourmet meal. And, uh, sorry. Are we going to let him open it? Why don't you go ahead and take a look? Okay, here we go. Do it. All right. Mm -hmm. This looks good. Anything you can like work that. with? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. look at these jumbo shrimp. These are beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, great. We have some chicken breast in here. Ooh. Little snack for later, I think. What is the snack? <laughs> what is that? Oh, potato, potato chips. chips. Okay. Oh, Nobody we like can eat just we like one. It. All right. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Jumbo asparagus. Mm -hmm. Fresh, beautiful tomatoes. What's wrapped mushrooms. up in the paper there? Let's take a look at that. Yeah. Now we're gonna find Does out. Does he have to make just one dish? Hope it's not kangaroo. <laughs> You know, because oh, cool. that kangaroo tastes like chicken. It really oh. does. I've had it. It yeah. tastes like chicken. trout? It looks like trout. All right. Okay. Wonderful. We're going to check back in with the sergeant in a little while, check, monitor his progress, and see what he comes up with by the end One of the show. One dish or as many as he wants? I, it's his shot. It's, it's his, his show. Uh, whatever. Okay. He's the, he's the he chef. He looks like dude. trout with potato chips and banana for dinner. <laughs> Fish and chips? I like it. For the last 40 minutes, Army Chef Sergeant Matthew Flemister has been cooking with the contents of our early show mystery box. It's time to find out what he's prepared. And can I just show you down here first? This this was all of the stuff that was in the mystery box. Mushrooms, potato chips, we've got fish, we have chicken, we have shrimp, we have all these vegetables. What have you turned all of this into in the last 40 minutes, sir? Okay, well I was able to do two courses in that time, the time went quick. Um, we're gonna start today with the fish chowder. Right. I took the bronzino and the shrimp. Right. And those potato chips. Right. Oh, so you made that into a kind of a... Uh, uh, a crust for, yeah. the, uh, for the seafood, absolutely. Those great. A little bit of Old Bay seasoning in there, it's mm -hmm. gonna taste delicious. Right, what are if we you, gonna do with that? Uh, we're gonna give that a flip, yeah. season with a little bit of salt and pepper. You give it a flip. All right. Yeah, because this is, it will look like a Lucy episode if I did. <laughs> All right, you do it. All Very right. Good. And then that, that seafood is gonna be served over to, over the uh, the chowder that has some of the, the okra in there. Wow. Because look at this, see, and you, made, you already made this soup. And what are the ingredients in the soup? It's got um, new potatoes, celery, shallots, garlic, a little bit of fish stock, and heavy cream. Oh, Just the standard man. things. We're gonna finish that with a little bit of thyme, too. Right, really. right. Now, okay. let me ask you a question, because you went to culinary school, you worked at a chef at a, as a couple of big restaurants. What made you decide at a given point in your life, I'm gonna go in the army and cook in the army? Well, um, surprisingly enough, after about 10 years as a professional chef in the civilian world, I was looking for a change. I was looking for a new challenge. Yeah. And I'd always heard about the wonderful opportunities for chefs in the Army. And is that really true? I mean, it really this, is. this is not KP, folks. <laughs> this is something <laughs> way beyond KP. Um, that is true. Yeah. Uh, we've got international competitions that we do. We right. just, in 2008, we went to the Culinary World Olympics in Erfurt, Germany. Wow, dude. The team scored 13 gold medals. That's pretty and cool. We really, and we really yeah. represented the And right the, now uh, the you Army. cook for General Casey down in Virginia, right? I do, the That's chief of staff of the Army. How yes. cool is that? All right, so la let's, let's wrap this all okay. up then. If I could get over here. You need some tongs? Yes. Right? If you would do this part for me, Harry. All right, tell me what. All right, just uh, plate the vegetables. I want a nice thin line going down the length of the plate, please. <laughs> a nice thin line. All right, I'll do my best here. Thanks, sir. Nice thin line. Some tongs. The great green line. Great gray line. All right, you know what? I'm sorry. All it right. Is, it is what it is. All right. I don't have the military precision that you happen to uh, be infused with. Okay. Well, look at this chicken. Oh, yum. Yeah. Just simply pan seared. Yep. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Shingled Ooh. over the beautiful vegetables. And we're going to finish that with an artichoke and wild mushroom barragool. Oh, look at that. If you would finish that for me, please. All right, I can do that. All, All right, right just over the top uh -huh. of the chicken. And I will do this uh, chowder right here. All right, very good. And so you put the chowder over, or no, you put something on top of the chowder. That's correct. I took the bronzino and the shrimp that was in the mystery basket. All right. You finish that one off, and I'm going to taste this if you don't All mind. All right. All right, because you get those mushrooms working there. This is kind of one more extension of our comfort food that we've been doing all week this week. 
there we are. Okay, now I took those potato chips and instead of turning them into a snack, mm -hmm. I turned them into a crust for the seafood, just like that. And we're gonna top this off with a little bit of crispy celery leaves for some nice freshness. Take a look at this. May I just say for the record, there are guys in the army right now who have said, I've never eaten like this. There we are. <laughs> Chef, thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Really My appreciate pleasure. it. Congratulations on all your good stuff. Thank For you. more on the Armed Forces Chef of the Year competition, all you have to do is go to our website. That's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.